de-Microsoftication refers to the process of moving away from proprietary solutions, such as those offered by Microsoft, and embracing open source alternatives. So why did a company known for their storage servers bring a bunch of tech creators and some of their clients all the way to Nova Scotia, Canada to discuss this topic? What are some of the new premium Homeland products that 45 Drives are making? What did I learn about the 45 Drives mass custom manufacturing process? What is Ceph Cluster Jenga? And why are they doing push-ups? And why is Jeff from Craft Competing grabbing a beer out of a beerinator in Iraq? Before I answer all those questions, I want to thank 45 Drives for putting on the 2024 Creator Summit event and covering all my travel for this event. All opinions are my own. They did not sponsor this video, nor do they have any editorial control. They just bought me some fudge and uh, made me a cool little nameplate. And as I said, cover the travel. That's not the same as compensating someone for sponsorship, but feel free to debate that in the comments. Let's get started. Forty Five Drives did their first Creator Summit in 2023, and I was only able to attend remotely because sometimes I do stupid things on motorcycles, but I was excited that I could join this event in person for 2024. While you may know 45 Drives is a storage company that uses open source, they're also big open source contributors and they really believe in the open source ecosystem. This is why the theme of this year's summit was moving away from proprietary software and moving things to software that is more open. Not just Linux, but also open source alternatives to common software that we use every day for our creative work, business, and personal use. This is not something that 45 Drives just wanted to talk about, it's something they're actively pursuing. 45 Drives has moved some of their internal desktop operating systems over to Linux and moved some of their proprietary software over to open source alternatives. A big part of us all being there was to discuss our own journeys of moving to open source systems and some of the challenges that we face along that journey. My presentation specifically focused on alternative business software such as Snipe IT or Netbox to help document your computer network assets or Zabbix to help monitor them and I threw in a little net data. We also had a really good discussion with the creative team at 45 Drives to help out with their YouTube channel. 45 Drive's YouTube channel has a lot of great tutorials about storage and learning resources. You should really check it out and subscribe. They also let us play with some of their new premium Homeland products, such as the HL8 and HL4. Check out Jeff from Craft Computing's review of the HL8. It's a pretty neat product. I especially like the way it opens. You'll find that video linked down below. I got to check out a new idea and essentially an early test version of a product that is going to be a stackable server. Yes, you heard that right, stackable, not rackable. While it's not a product that exists yet and may never exist, it's an interesting idea and I'll have a video dedicated to it coming out soon or maybe by the time you're watching this already available, check my channel for a video called Stackable Servers. Now let's talk about manufacturing. One thing you may not know is that the manufacturing side proto case builds every unit from a flat piece of steel that can be customized during any step of the process. We saw how a flat piece of steel comes in one end of the building, goes to a laser cutter, to welding, to putting the screws in, painted, packaged, and then shipped right to the customer. It's a really cool process. They're able to customize things because they don't build things using mass production. It's what they call mass custom. Mass custom manufacturing is a process really amazing to see in person and allows those small iterations to happen in between and customer requests to be fulfilled to customize the product right to you. Time to talk about Ceph Cluster Jenga. It's similar to regular Jenga, but the blocks we are pulling out are components of a running Ceph cluster chosen via drawing a card through each turn that corresponds to a component in the cluster. The person who pulls out the component that makes the cluster fall over has to do a few push-ups. This is a fun active learning exercise because we all know as documented, Ceph is very resilient, but getting to play a game, pulling random parts out of a server and learning firsthand just how resilient Ceph is while we pull drives or networks or any component or even one of the gateways out and seeing how that resilience works in person, amazing experience. And then there was the beer nader. This was something 45 Drives did as kind of a joke years ago, and Jeff from Craft Computing said, hey, that would look really great in my rack. And that was on Tuesday. And Tuesday afternoon, they started the process of building it, and by Thursday afternoon, they presented Jeff with the Beerinator. This really goes to show how quick they can turn something around that is a custom request. And yes, it does work and required sacrificing a mini fridge and reconfiguring some components to fit in a rack mount case, but it worked and the beer was cold. This is that mass custom manufacturing in action. Now, some of you, if you've made it this far in the video, are probably asking, aren't you being a little bit promotional of 45 Drives? Are you sure you weren't sponsored just to say nice things about them? And yes, as I disclosed in the beginning of the video, they did cover my travel to this event and it was really 
nice of them to do so, but my company, Lawrence Systems and IT side, CNWR, have spent over half a million dollars for 45 drives, so I get to say what I want in my opinion here. And my opinion is, I like spending money with a company that takes the time to put a studio together, create a bunch of YouTube tutorials on storage and all kinds of open source things, has a GitHub where they contribute lots of code back to the community, is actively involved in Proxmox, is actively involved in the Ceph organizations and putting a lot of content out about that that may you know get people aware of the company and maybe they'll buy some components but you can use all the stuff they contribute to open source and they're engaged in the community without buying a thing from them and that's amazing and that is something we need more of more companies participating in open source in the way they do and i'm really calling out all these large companies this is not something i'm seeing done by all the really big companies at the way they could be doing it so i do want to take the time to promote a company that is doing it right in my opinion here and this is something near and dear to my heart because i contribute a lot of to tutorials and videos and yeah sure you sometimes you got to listen to me shill an ad for myself saying hire me and that's just part of life because I got to pay the bills but the reality is I still put out a lot of videos that do not have any ads in them or even when they do I mark where they are so you can skip over them because I want to give back to the community I spend a lot of times in a lot of forums especially my own contributing back to open source and 45 drives does the same they have their open source forums they have their home lab stuff those are targeting the home lab audience they care about the people building things and of course they sell a lot of enterprise things and that's where I engage with them a lot I have more videos up and coming for projects that we are doing with 45 drive servers as part of the solution stack that we're providing and once again it'll be information i put out here on youtube to show you how you can build these solutions and insert whatever name of the product you want i like the 45 drive server but the reality is when i talk about setting up nas and storage servers it's not specific usually to the hardware as much as it is to the concept of how to get the problem solved so do with that information what you will like and subscribe to the 45 Drives channel because they have a great YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. Head over to my forums. Head over to the 45 Drives forums. All these are great places where you can engage with the community and uh, participate and ask questions and continue that learning journey diving into tech. Thanks. Mm -hmm.